All right, first question comes from Bob in New York. Said, I'm an old Notre Dame fan and have noticed, at least to me, that some of the college football media like to try to take down Notre Dame when they can. See the Andy Ludwig coverage. Does Notre Dame not being in a conference hurt them with the national perception from fans and the media? No. Their conference affiliation, I don't think, has anything to do with the type of coverage they receive. Now, acknowledge this. Their lack of conference affiliation does make them polarizing. Why? Because they're the only team in the entire country that gets to do things on their own terms. A lot of people are kind of jealous of that. A lot of people don't understand why Notre Dame and their athletic director, why does he have an equal seat at the table alongside 10 college football commissioners? So I think that Notre Dame is the most polarizing program in the country. You either love them or you hate them. There is no in-between. When you think about Notre Dame, nobody looks at Notre Dame's like, yeah, I'm okay with them. It's either like, man, I really respect Notre Dame or man, I can't stand Notre Dame. It's one side or the other. And part of it, I think too, look, they have a long storied history. They have a national brand international brand if you want to extend beyond. I mean, they play games internationally and will continue to do so. So I think Notre Dame, they don't necessarily... The reason why they received negativity as far as the Andy Ludwig coverage is because it gave off the perception. I'm not saying it's accurate. I'm saying it was a perception that they weren't willing to spend $2 million to hire the guy that they really preferred. That's a bad perception to have. Now, whether that's accurate or inaccurate, it could have been anybody. It could have been Ole Miss. It could have been Cal. It could have been Florida State. It didn't matter. I mean, if if you give off the perception that you, hey, this is our guy. This is our coordinator. We want him. You roll out the red carpet as you're whining and dining him. And then all of a sudden, it comes time to put pen to paper And now, all of a sudden, the buyout is prohibitive. Like, it didn't matter. That could have been any school. And people are going to say, really? $2 million? You can't can't overcome that to hire the guy that you really want as your coordinator? So I, I don't think they get unfair coverage. But they certainly get an appropriate amount of coverage, given how much they move the needle. You should just take the line that Jerry Jones always used. All pub is good pub. I don't necessarily agree with that, but if I'm Notre Dame, it's coming anyways. You might as well just be comfortable with it.